How's the weather down there? Kind of warm. How's it over there? Uh, let's see. Can you hear me? Uh, she must be on mute. How's the weather down there? It's good. Can you hear me? No? Can you hear me? What's up, Michelle? Hello.
Mr. Hefe's here. Mr. Hefe's here. Up, yeah. When you guys yeah. are done with the hip flow, take it to the back side. Mid leg raises, arm crosses, back side. Egg rolls, please. About five and a feet. Egg rolls, please. About five and a feet. Egg rolls, about five and a feet. Egg rolls, please. About five and a feet. Once you guys get done with that floor work, what I want you guys to do is Once find like a vertical post or edge of a, a wall or something like that. We're gonna go calf stretch, maybe about like 10, 15 seconds on each foot, and then some leg swings. I'll be doing it right foot. I'll be doing it right But uh, egg, uh, calf stretch and then leg swings. But uh, calf stretch and then leg swings. Up. After that calf and hamstring work, last thing we're going to do is just some small arm circles. Uh, we'll go small forward for about 10 seconds. Uh, big ones, small forward, small back, and then big ones all one. And then big ones all All right, 2 p.m. Uh, people, when you guys get done with that, uh, stretch it up. Let's take a couple extra minutes, get a little hydrated, get a little sip of water. If you need to last minute, hit the restroom. We're going to go over our warm up. We're going to do all the movements that we're going to do. So it we'll takes a couple minutes, get a drink, get the restroom if you need to. We'll be back here in about two minutes, 2 16, so 2 18. And then we'll start going over some stuff. Finish up our warm up with the movement patterns and then finish up a little stuff with the movement patterns and then. Mr. Hefe, long time no see. Where's Miss Betty at? Mr. Hefe, long time no see. Where's Miss Betty? She's at her shop. She had somebody come in to buy something at 2:30. So yeah, she said one she more time. Buy something at 2:30. Oh. 
Am I muted? No, no, no. I had my volume turned down. Oh, so she had somebody come into her shop to buy something at 2.30. So we're actually going to see later. I'm just kind of, I'm going to sandbag right now pretty hard. And uh, especially I have no shoes on yet. And nice. uh, I just got out of a meeting. Um, oh, nice. Okay. And plus, when I came out of the front of the house, I locked myself out. So <laughs> fortunately, Dang. the back door is open, but I've got quite the adventure to get to it. <laughs> get to the back door. Yeah. Well, Jeff, I do wish you the best whenever it is you decide to make the adventure. Yeah, so uh, I may just kind of do some of this with my bare feet, or I may crawl around there and get in the back door. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, shoot. Well, uh, at least you have your shoot. phone. That's well, a good uh, thing. At least you have your phone. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, man, it's so hot in the gym already. Oh, oh man, it's so hot in the gym already. So I was wondering out loud to Betty the other day, um, and I know this is being recorded, so I'll speak in code. Uh, if uh, if you received a coffee delivery some morning that they're, you're doing a workout, um, some morning delivery people be able to I mean, it's always a possibility. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Because you know, right, there's guys. like there's Uber Eats and there's all that, right? Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you just get one of those stickers and put it on your car. It'll be good to go. <laughs> put it on your all right, car. folks. Let's talk about uh, some of the pieces that we have today. <laughs> right, I miss Bro, so just pay attention to me really fast. Uh, we're gonna go over the dumbbell row, and I most of you guys are probably gonna do this option really since you most likely don't have a pull-up bar. So we'll go over that what that looks like with your dumbbell, kettlebell, or backpack option. Um, jumping jacks, we'll go over that, but it's just another way to warm up a little bit. And then uh, this should say dumbbell clean and jerks. It just said push press. So we'll go over the dumbbell clean and jerk. We'll do five on each side for this kind of stuff. So again, it'll be three rounds of 10, 20, and 10. For the 10 here, it's actually going to be split up into five and five. Five on your right arm, five on your left arm. If we go through. But let me walk you guys through the dumbbell row really fast and also the dumbbell clean and jerks. Okay, so if we're going dumbbell okay. rows today, one of the big things we want to focus on is the ability to hinge, okay, right? We don't necessarily need to be like way down here per se, but something just above parallel as far as like a 90 degree angle is cool. And then if you can imagine the dumbbell, which I'll show you, we're just going to row as high as we can here. Again, the elbow's pointing up and we're pulling in as much as we can. So with the dumbbell here, right, taking my big belly full of air, I'm extended here in the, in the arms, I'm going to pull up and come back down. What we're going to do in the workout and warm ups, we're going to do five. That's two, three, two, four, and five. And then I'll switch hands and hit the other side. Same thing. And I'll hit five on the other side. Now, like most single arm work, you're going to have a strong now, like, side and a weak side. So start with your weak side with the dumbbell you have. Um, if it doesn't go for some odd reason, make sure you guys have enough time to set up a backpack or something like that. It's a good amount of reps in the workout. It'll be 40 in sets of five. So let's just make sure that we're picking something appropriate for us there. Um, for the next piece, the dumbbell clean and jerk for us, but uh, in the workout, it'll be split in half. We're going to have the dumbbell hanging up, or starting on the floor here. On the outside of your feet, I'll show it to you this way. <laughs> on the outside is fine. I also don't mind if you're straddling the dumbbell either. I also don't mind if you're straddling right up to the shoulder. You dip and drive up overhead. And these, again, movements will be separate in the workout. We'll go dumbbell cleans. Right to the shoulder, we'll do five on one side. Let's say that was five, we'll hit five on the other side. For the jerk part in the workout, once we get it up here, you're gonna go all five, dip and drive. Once you hit all five, you'll switch, hit the other side, dip and drive, same thing. So right now for the warm up, you're gonna go three rounds. You're gonna go five and five on the dumbbell rows, 20 jumping jacks, and then 10 or uh, five and five on the uh, dumbbell clean and jerks too. Fantastic. Let's get to it. Fantastic. Let's get to it.
lifting all the weights? Yes, sir. For you? Yes. Did you lifting all the weights? Yes, sir. You lifting all the weights for you too. Yeah, we're doing uh, four of this. Ten. Ten rows. Uh -huh. Ten rows, five on each side. Twenty jumping jacks. And then ten uh, clean jerks. on each side. Five on each side. And what? Yeah, jumping jacks. Jump jump. As you guys are finishing up, again, so you guys are finishing water, up, make sure you guys have all your apple watches and things set up ready to go. Have your course mapped out for your run, jog, or if you're rowing. And then today, 326 right now, we'll be back at 230. 2.30. Oh my gosh, I'm already so tired. Lilo, what's up? It's good to see you. Oh, I'm so tired already. Did you need any sunscreen? Uh, I probably will. Are you going to run naked? Huh? Run naked. It's too hot for this! <laughs> so it's 400. So down and back up to 240. 240 and then we only need I just say down and back and then down and back. Okay. Down. I just say down and back and then down and back. I think that's what we did last time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It is very hot for this. <laughs> When you guys are good, just head back to your camera. Take yourself off mute. When you guys are good, and then uh, we'll talk about it one last time. Make sure you guys are good to go. Oh man, it's warm here. Miss Michelle, since you're here, uh, any questions about the movements? You feeling okay? Um, yeah. So if we do, like, we do for the, we're just doing single arm on one side. We're just yeah. Doing and just for transparency, if you don't feel very comfortable doing kettlebell cleans, um, you could sub it out for single arm kettlebell Russian swings. That would be halfway. Uh, it just okay. depends. Uh, I know that for some, you know, cleaning it, turning it over, sometimes we get these big wrist contusions if we're not very adept with that. And that's totally fine. Um, again, if that's the case for you or you're worried about your wrist, things like that, and then please just switch out to a Russian swing with one arm. And you'll do the same thing. You'll do five on one side with the right, maybe, and then five on one side with all changing through that. Okay. 
cool, cool, cool. Mr. Jeff, um, 500 meters on the rower if you're hitting that rower up today. Yeah, I'm sandbagging, but yeah. Beautiful. Sandbagging, but yeah. I sandbag all the time. Excellent. Just a big bag yeah. of sand. Mom and dad, uh, questions, comments, concerns? Uh, questions, comments, concerns? No, I think, you know, we're doing the odd object rows and then the 400 meter run and then a dumbbell power cleans. Is that what we're supposed to be doing? Yeah, so let's go from the top and work our way down. So first part, you guys have 20 reps of strict pull-ups. Now, for those that are subbing out for the backpack row, um, it'll be 40 reps. More likely than not, it's going to be probably a little bit easier than doing a strict pull-up would be for you. So just be mindful. Right. If you make a really heavy backpack for yourself or you have a really heavy dumbbell or kettlebell, then keep it at 20. You know, be smart about this kind of stuff. Just because the, the workout on Waterfly says 40 of the odd object, if it's really heavy, don't do 40. Do 30, do 20. Um, just make sure it's relevant for you, right? If it was like a hundred pound dumbbell for me, I'm not going to do 40 reps total. Um, I'll probably do something like maybe 20 on each side or 20 total. Um, for the single arm power clean, that's kind of the same deal. Let's make sure it's a, it's a weight that works well for you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, it'll be five and five on each side for the dumbbell work. Um, if you're using a pack, um, just be mindful of the, uh, the push press stuff. Make sure you have a good firm grip on it when you guys go to push overhead um, and things like that. Lastly, but I will have the strict pull-ups and rows again. Um, if you're using a backpack, uh, we've gone over this a couple of times. But if you are weighting up a backpack, just make sure you do yourself a favor. Cinch in the straps as much as you can just so there's not a lot of distance. right? So when you guys are in that hunched over position here with that flat back, you're being able to pull up as high as you can and come all the way back down. If your straps are too long, the backpack's going to hit the ground and come off tension. So just have it cinched up small so that way you can move through it pretty well. Um, questions, comments, concerns? You guys all look pretty good. No injuries, things like that. If you need to scale the run, by all means, if the 400 is a little too daunting for a day, it's really hot outside, I get it. Um, if you're good for it, then let's do it. And if you need to sub it out for like a 200 instead, I totally understand. Uh, make the workout applicable for you guys today. Ms. Lila, any questions for you? Beautiful. Okay, do me a favor. Mute yourselves up real quick. I'll place the music and I'll get the, uh, the timer started. I don't know how long I'll take, but I'll see you guys eventually. I got you, Mom.
Look at that good looking guy right there. Woo.
Let's go. Come on, Dustin. Good work, Donnie. Good work, Michelle. Lila, must be good work. Can't see you. There you are. Good work. One, Dustin, finish up strong. Let's go. Up on the bar. Dustin, Dustin. Dustin, singles? Come on, let's go. You can do better than that. Come on, two. Let's go. Up. Yes.
Okay, I'm seeing a pattern. Three next time, Dustin. Yes, one, two. Oh, that's only two. Lost that bet. Let's go teammates. All right, Dustin, let's go. <laughs> Ring rows. Right. Flatten them out. Let's get more horizontal. We're not. How do I get to Dustin? How do I get to see this? How do I get to see this? You gotta search the screens on. Oh. You gotta search the screens on. Got it. Recording. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate running so much. Uh, Michelle, what'd you get? Um, I got 10, 12, 10. I did a little bonus at the end. Oh, that's fast. Why not? <laughs> Miss Lila, you got some sign language for me? Language. 555? 555? 15? 50. 50. 50. Uh, 50. 50. Uh, uh, Mr. Jeff, what'd you do? I did half a workout. I did half a workout. And I didn't time it. I love, I love that. Love that. Mom and and I'll Dad? do it again with Betty later. I'll do the whole thing out later with Betty. I uh, used a 20-pound dumbbell for all the dumbbell movements and I got 28. 28. Dad got 16, 20. He used 10 was more than me though on the nice. dumbbell. Yeah, folks. <clears throat> Heck yeah. It's well, hot I here. Know, I got over a lot faster than I thought it was. <laughs> I thought I was going to be out for like half an hour. <laughs> um, nice job today. <laughs> you guys did great. Couple of things to consider, uh, and you guys are doing. You guys are the ones that are doing a good job, so that's necessarily fall on you guys. But um, stay in the routine, whatever it is that you guys have, as best you guys can, because life is going to go back to normal eventually, right? Even your training, hopefully, will, will get normalized. So do your best to stay with it. Uh, a big thing for me is just get normalized. When we come back, whenever that is, whether that's a couple weeks or a couple months, whatever the case, I just don't want to be that far behind of where I normally am at. So you know. Even just one workout a day is still going to offset that and give you guys an opportunity when, when you guys do get to come back in, that it's not going to be so painstakingly difficult to take ownership of like regular movements like push-ups and air squats. We can hopefully just focus on some of the stuff we don't get to do right now, like pull-up work, you know, barbell stuff. Um, so stay with it. You guys are the, the ultra consistent ones that I get to see a couple times a week. And I know the other coaches you guys do keep it up. It'll pay the dividends you guys are looking for. Uh, and with that being said, that is it for today. Uh, stretching stuff that you guys should take hold of, uh, whether it's right now or a little bit later on, is calf and hamstring stuff. Um, and then, you know, arm circles, things like that. Just to keep the shoulder loose. Because we do so much dumbbell stuff, 
the shoulder is getting taxed a lot more, even though we're doing a lot less weight than we normally might do. Um, so just make sure you guys are taking care of it. Get someone to massage it or, I don't know, go see Dr. Jamie. Um, okay, well, I'm going to find a way to cool down. Uh, thanks to all you guys for jumping in today, and I will see you guys. Uh, I think Jose, Warren, and I are actually all going to get together tomorrow to do uh, your Dr. Job. Jamie's workout for her tribe athletes. So if you guys can jump on tomorrow at 9, even just to hang out, that would be great. We really appreciate that. If you guys can jump on tomorrow at 9, even to hang out, that would be great. Peace, folks. Bye. Okay. Have a good Friday. Happy Friday. Peace, everybody. Thanks, Dustin. Happy Friday. You're so welcome. Miss you guys. Thank you. Miss you guys.